What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here at the Nerd Castle today with the first episode of a short series we're going to be running through of a game called Beasts of Prey, which is essentially Rust meets Dinosaurs. And you might be saying, well, we already have the Stomping Land, why do we need this? Well, the Stomping Land is in tribal eras, whereas this game takes place in modernity, so there's like scar rifles and like modern forges and weaponry and things like that. And so we start out on this little island right here. You see those little houses out there? Well, that one right there, that's a player house. I'm not sure if players can murder me. That is a factoid that I have not been made privy to, but what we're going to do is we're going to take out our hunting knife right here. And once again, the game is called Beasts of Prey, and the first thing we need to do in all survival games is pretty much find ourselves some wood. We need to get it like a good night at the Y out here and just have wood everywhere. And so let's start by smacking this tree a little bit. I can't guarantee that this is going to work because sometimes the game is like super laggy because there's only like one server right now, and everybody is playing on that server because dinosaurs and... I don't blame them because I did the exact same thing. I said to myself, I can't really justify another game purchase this month. And then my brain did this thing where it said, but dinosaurs. And so I said, yeah, you do have a point, brain. You do have a point. You make a strong case, brain, but dinosaurs may be the strongest polemic I've heard made in quite some time. That tree appears to be out of wood. So what use are you to me, you giant, stiff, erect bastard? Oh, that one's out too. Well, damn. I suppose we'll try and get at it then with this rock. Ooh, there's a piece. I love the way when you chop these rocks right here, I like the way it falls apart. It pleases me to no end, and I have no idea why it makes me so happy. Hopefully nobody's shooting at me right now. I thought I just heard a snap, and I don't feel like hearing a snap right now. People get very defensive of their rocks, in case you were wondering. Why won't... Uh, harvest. You, rock, I command you. Yay! We got ourselves. What is this? We'll look at it in our inventory just to... Just heard like a trumpet. Something was like... Nee! It's like Huey Lewis in the news was out in the jungle. Maybe it's a prehistoric Triassic elephant or something. I don't know. Either way, it sounds quite musical out here. I'm beginning to think we're in an 80s movie somehow. Like any moment you're just going to have like that beat kick in. It's like... Oh, the rock disappeared. I guess he didn't want to be sawed on anymore. Oh, well. He didn't really have a choice in the whole ordeal, but I understand. I get it. I've made two and two connect, and I would, I'd I'd be kind of upset if I was a super awesome lithic formation and somebody kept sawing at me with a knife, too. I'd be like, use a rock hammer. We have proper protocols here in the geological world. I mean, seriously, how do you not know what tool to hit a rock with at this point? You've only been a geologist for how long? And I would be like, well, that's kind of beside the point. I mean, I've been a geologist for a while. I think I see another rock over here, or that might just be the bottom part of a tree. Ooh! It's like Rocktopia. There's ore everywhere. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, God. What's happened to me? What has happened to me in this channel? No, what's happened is I slept like an hour last night because this game came out, and then I got super excited, and then I ended up playing it way too much, and that other rock just vanished like David Blaine during a TV special or Chris Angel or something. Like, mind freak. I have eyeliner. Watch me disappear. He was like, oh, Chris Angel, you're so edgy. All right. You're like, the day of, you're like the David Bowie of magicians. Let's continue to saw away at this thing because you never know. One of the bugs that I have to deal with in this game is you never know when all of the rocks are going to despawn and never again be seen. And so in my terror of possibly losing my lovely little iron nodes here, I'm going to try and farm out as much iron in the early game as we can because there's a lot of cool stuff that we can build. I mean, there are firearms. There... I... Hear... I hear breathing, and that's very concerning. Like, on, a, on an island filled with dinos, there's not a whole lot of things that I want to hear breathing right now, especially since I don't have, like, a gun or anything to fight with. Oh, and there goes the last of that rock. And so away she goes. We'll grab ourselves a bit more ore. Let's take a look at our inventory. If you're trying to open up your inventory, let's say that you're watching this video for the first time trying to figure out what the hell you're doing in Beast of Prey. Well, you picked the wrong video. No, I'm kidding. You press the I key to open up your inventory, which is noted over here. I like how everything's on the screen when you first start out. Oh, never mind. Let me keep my loot from the last server I played on. Well, damn, I feel foolish. I've already got a stone axe now. Okay, well, I've, I didn't think I'd ever played on this server yet, but we've got a stone axe. And we can, like, do this little choppy thing with it. Like, hoop. Hoop. And so that's going to help us get at the loot a little bit better. Let's have a bit of a look around right now. We can claim land. So this game uses a land claiming system, very similar to what you might see 
in the new EverQuest game where you can put down a flag. And I don't know if there's an upkeep or anything like that, but you put down a flag and it claims the area for you. And so you can have a watchtower so you can sit around and snipe your neighbors. If you start building a watchtower next to my base, I'm probably going to be upset with you and be like, what the hell, man? Because that really does seem as though you have nothing good in mind. But, like, these two guys right here have the sort of relationship. Oh, we can press the control key in order to chop as well. Just in case you only wanted to play with the keyboard like it was 1987. Just in case. And so I think the axe actually allows you to get more... There's a dude over there. Hey, man, are you friendly? Please don't murder me. Like, that would be super lame. Alright, <laughs> The game does have voice, so we can actually, like, contact people and stuff, but I'm just going to run away because I'm a giant wuss bag, and I've got way too much stuff on me right now, and I don't feel like getting robbed. And he's got, like, a house, and he's got, like, technological sophistication, and that sincerely worries me. I don't like it when people outgun me, and believe me, if he can build a house with, like, a stone axe and some logs, he can probably make all kinds of weird firearms and guns and shit that could totally just ruin our day. I'm going to do my best to get up in here and loot this thing before he sees it, though. Because I like to live life on the edge. You can't stop me. You can't force me onto the blade. Because I'm already on the edge. And it's sharper than the blade. Well, I mean, it comprises the blade. I don't really know how... I don't know how this conversation works or where it's going. So never mind. We're just going to evacuate. We are going to verbally evacuate and not think about it any longer. Okay, give me your loot. And then we need to go find some trees. And then once we find trees... We need to build ourselves a homestead because property rights and having our own stuff and telling other people they can't be around it and that we'll shoot them if they will. Yes! Welcome to the catalyst of my gaming experience, greed. That's the best way to always start out every adventure. I have stuff, you want it, and you can't have it, therefore I shoot you. That's a great way to adventure, right? And so I think the upgraded material, I'm sorry, the upgraded collection items actually allow you to take these rocks down further before they despawn. I'm noticing this one is actually allowing me to machete away at it much more efficiently. I may actually just try and destroy the whole thing, and then we'll go through efficiency, right? Who would have thought that I would try and do this efficiently? Oh, good, the rock is levitating. That'll make for an interesting geologic survey. That'll make for interesting science. Sir, the rock is floating. I don't know what to say about it. It just sort of happens. Like, well, Jenkins, you've been good to me in the past, so I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here, but I'm going to need a report by the USGS within 24 hours on why this rock is floating and also whether we can make money off of it because that's what we do all right so we've got ourselves more ore than we know what to do with right now we've got 55 iron and 49 stone can i use this other axe that i made then i mean the metal axe in my experience the metal axe seems to bug out though and like not work properly so like right now i'm totally clicking and nothing happens and then it also seems to, I don't know, the metal axe seems to be bugged is the point that I'm getting at right now. So let's run the hell away because that's always the best thing to do when you have stuff that other people want in a game like this. And I'm going to try and make sure that we survive the night. If we do, I'm going to applaud for myself and you guys can help me. I mean, I'm going to try and feel it through the ether. I'll always remember that from my graduation ceremony. The valedictorian of my class used the word etherized. I, I'll, he used the phrase etherized in the darkness, which is probably the most pretentious sentence I've ever heard in my life. And I was like, really? Etherized in the darkness? Like, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Just because you have the big word doesn't mean you need to use it right now. I mean, it's, there are other, etherized in the darkness? Eh, sounds a little angsty, I'm not gonna lie. It sounds like the lyrics off a of My Chemical Romance album. I'm not gonna lie to you. But then again, maybe I'm just a judgmental tool. There is always the possibility that I just might be one of those guys who's just a hipster tool shed or something. I don't know. I don't think we need any more rocks. So what I'm going to try and do is just get more tree resources. I'm gonna just going to take away... I like to call these just tree stakes. That's... I mean, we've already... So we've harvested all the tree stakes we can possibly get out of here. The tree's tube stake. I don't know what part the tree volunteered to give us, but I can reasonably assure you it's probably a rude part of its body that it's laughing that we picked up right now. Ah, uh, well. The joys of getting wood in the Triassic world. I haven't seen any dinosaurs because they tend to get sniped and annihilated the moment that they step onto the map. Like, there's people around with big game hunting rifles that are just like, Pachow! Then the dinosaurs are like, Oh my god, you shot me. Oh no. Now you're going to make medicine out of my horn or something. I don't know what you do with dinosaurs in this game. I've never shot one. Every time I've seen a dinosaur, I've hugged it. It didn't go so well with the T-Rex, but I will say... 
that the Triceratops perfectly amicable to being hugged. I hugged the Triceratops. It went great. It was just as I imagined. What is this? Oh, I thought there was like a mold growing on top of the water. Like, let's go inhale it. That's probably going to be healthy. Look, Mom, we've got mold spores in our lung. You send me to the Triassic, and I come back with mold spores in my lung. That'd be just my luck. If it's not poison ivy, it's mold spores. Mmm. Delicious mold spores. Let's find some real estate over here. That's, I don't know if that's a get out sign or what that is, but there's radar dishes in this game too. I don't know what they do for you. I'm still a little bit suspect on what the green bar does because it goes up and down. Still a little bit weird about the green bar. No clue what that's doing. It goes up sort of... It goes up when I'm not running, but the yellow bar is very clearly like my stamina meter. And so I don't know if that's maybe like a double tiredness meter where the green one is how much you're able to recharge or something. I don't know. It's weird. Let's go ahead and get some more rock here. Yeah, rock harvesting. And then we'll get with the craft nation And I'll show you what this game has to offer with regards to all the weird little doodads and goo that you can craft. Because there are quite a few in the game. Now, some of them are not functional. But there are a lot of weird things in the game that you can make at the moment. I'd love to make a rifle or some type of gun so we can go murder that guy by the lake. I know that sounds like a dick move. And I realize it's kind of dark on screen right now. I still, there's no way to do anything about that. There are no light sources in the game as far as I know right now. Like, there's no torches. There's nothing like that. So I'll try and brighten this up in post by adding a whole bunch of artificial gamma. But I can't guarantee that that will be enough. So if you agree to that, then shake my hand through the screen, noble viewer. And then, you know, oh my god, it's so pitch black dark. Well, at least we've got an axe. There is a plus side to this whole thing. We're on a dino-infested island in the pitch black. There could be a T-Rex around anywhere, and it makes this booming sound when it walks, like Jurassic Park style. It is horrifying. It is absolutely horrific the first time you experience your first T-Rex. I said first time already, but you know what? I'm going to add the word first in a second time, just for bonuses, because I like you guys that much. And I don't mind including extra wordage if I feel like it'll make you all happy, because that's basically what I do here on YouTube. I try to make all of you happy. I am the court jester. And so in the next couple days on the Nerd Castle, what you can expect, this is for the people that like hang out here. If you got here through search, that's totally cool. Welcome to the Nerd Castle. But if you're here just as one of my normal visitors, what I will say is in the next couple days, I have a RimWorld series going up that's been playing with Blitz Kriegsler, Adlington T, and my logs are rolling on the rip. Mm. Papa is not a rolling stone. Papa is a rolling log. There we go. And unfortunately... Papa has the express advantage of being deployed on a inclined surface. How wonderful for him. Okay, so we've probably got enough wood right now, right? We've got... Oh, we've got tons of wood. In fact, if you were from the bay, you might say that we had hella wood. And so, in the interest of having hella wood, we're just going to sit here and craft ourselves some wood planks because that's what all the fun stuff is made out of. That'll also give us some time for the evening to end. Now, there is this little button right here that says craft until out of resources. It doth not work. It doesn't function the way that you would think it would. And so I'm going to sit in this hill out in the open where anybody can murder me. And I'm just going to have a grand old time crafting away. Now, the green bar is decreasing while I'm crafting right now. So that's sort of interesting. It makes me wonder if that's like a mental focus thing or something to where you need to like respawn or anything like that. I haven't seen a whole lot of threats in this game, to be fair. Dinosaurs lose a lot of their edge when there's firearms involved with the equation. And I think that we have found the natural enemy of the dinosaur, which is the Scar Rifle. I'm going to try and craft one. I don't know if we're going to get it in on this episode, but we're going to try because it seems like it would be fun to have. Come on. Are we almost done here? much more do I have going? 20 more raw wood. Okay, that seems alright. So let's continue to craft. No! Sometimes your menus will bug out in this game. Just keep spamming a button and eventually it'll fix itself. As with everything else in Early Access, I always have a rant about Early Access games because there are so many of them out right now and I really don't like the Early Access model. Nonetheless, Early Access games, you guys have to be aware that you're going to run into bugs. Weird things are not going to work. For example, I've never seen as many rocks as this time I played. Like, they just don't seem to be around. And so we've landed in this weird situation. We need iron ingots. Okay, so we don't have iron ingots. What can we do right there? With iron ingots, we can make crossbow bolts, which means we can murder that guy by the lake. That's essentially the only thing that I've been thinking about since we started, by the way. Just... I heard a sound. Hold on. Well... I don't know if there's, like, any house invasions or anything like that right now, either. That's another feature of gameplay that I haven't really attempted. I've messed around with somebody else's house, but then I got, oh no, I'm underwater. Can I drown? That seems like a major, 
majorly compromising situation to be in. Well, maybe I'll go around the lake. Although that bush doesn't seem to have a problem growing out there. It's just like, all right, underwater bush time. Just having a grand old time, just being a bush underwater. Well, you take the space you can get in this life. If there's one thing that I've learned, and there probably isn't very many more than that, because I really do my best to adhere to a tenet of not learning anything as much as possible, and I'm being sarcastic. Right? I love learning, because the second I say stuff like that, there'll be somebody in the comments that'll be like, Oh my god, Splattercat hates learning! He doesn't like literature, he's so ignorant, which would probably be one of the nicer things that people have said about me, to be honest. After you work on the internet for a little while, you start to get a feel for trolling, and that would actually be one of the nicer taunts that has been leveled in my direction. Nonetheless, I have to clarify and say that I was trying to make a funny, funny joke right there, and I feel as though I probably failed. If there's a flat space up there, that's where we're going to build the house. Overlooking this douchebag right here. I don't know if he's a douchebag, but either way, we're going to sit and stare at him and point our gun at him because that's a way to that's the best way to make a conducive society is to hang out in your house pointing guns at other people in their houses, right? Is it flat up here? It's semi-flat. Okay, well let's deploy our crafting bench. There we go. And I realize it's still kind of dark, and it's probably going to stay dark for a really, really long time because the moon is moving incredibly slowly. You can watch it creep a little bit, but still going to be... This area is... Cl oh, son of a bitch. No. But I like this spot. Is it claimed by this guy down here? Are you that guy? Oh, somebody already claimed the mountain. Maybe it is this guy down here, and he did it just to make sure nobody deploys on the mountain above his house. I wish you could destroy people's claim flags so that they couldn't do that. It would add to the game, to be honest. I mean, they say that every sandbox free roam game turns into a deathmatch fest, and I will agree, but what else is there to do, in all honesty? Like, I've never heard, you can be like, oh, well, we can build houses together. Okay, well, what do we do after we've built houses together? We can gather resources together. Well, what do we do after that? Well, I don't know, maybe build explosives and then just light them off in the middle of a field somewhere? Yeah, see, I would rather light the explosives off in the middle of your house because it's entertaining and it makes me laugh, I don't know, because I'm a sadist like that. Spending 45 minutes hatcheting somebody's door to get after their goodies. Oh, that place is glowing with a hellish red glow. With a crimson tinge. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This area's been claimed, too. Somebody claimed this entire damn mountain. Somebody got up in here and claimed this whole thing. Son of a bitch. Well, I kind of want this, though. And I know that's why they did it, is because they're going to put a watchtower up here, and they're going to snipe people throughout the valley all day. That's exactly what they went for. We'll try and find ourselves an unclaimed part of this mountain. Yeah, it's still not going to... Oh, it let me put it down in somebody else's area. Well, maybe this isn't claimed, then. Maybe it's just bugged out at the moment. Oh, we're right on the edge of an unclaimed area. That makes a bit more sense. Well, we can do one of their pre-built houses, or we can build our own. I'm more inclined to build my own, just because, you know, I'm angled like that. I have the angularity, the predisposition for such angularities. And so, that being the case, this looks reasonably flat over here. I don't know if you put down foundations or something like rust, but we'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and deploy our crafting table. How long this video is going to be, I don't know. I might just let her ride. And so I didn't mean to deploy that right there. My inventory bugged out. But just standing next to this now is enough to expand your inventory list. And so this right here is basically what's in the game. Everything from scar rifles all the way down to, like, guard towers. and just all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm going to put in a wood foundation. We may have to come back. Once we've got some extra wood. So let's go down the hill. We'll harvest off a bit more wood and then we'll come back up here. And we'll get started with our base construction. I don't know if we're going to get it done right now. But within, I'll probably do like three or four episodes of this game. We'll probably go on a dinosaur hunt once we have a gun. See if we can find anything that's murderable. Yeah, the metal axe doesn't appear to be working very well. So I'm just going to leave it alone for right now. It doesn't swing when I click. Which makes me wonder if maybe the animation hasn't been implemented or something. We need raw wood though for these foundations. And since I'm always in the interested party of making sure that an adventure starts off on the right foundation, in this case a wooden one, we're just going to keep on gathering the stuff that we need. This is almost turning into like my DayZ episode where it's just like dark the entire time and I'm just embarrassed about it and I just turn up the gamma like crazy. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. It just, it sort of happened this way. I didn't know what the server time was. It doesn't really make it well known anywhere. 
Chop down one more palm tree. That place is illuminated, so apparently he has learned to harness fire, which is bad for me. That's a quite burny advantage that I do not want applied liberally to my loins. Don't really want to have my ass or any other part of me held up to the fire right now. Over anything, to be honest. I just want to build foundations for my house and then get the hell out of here. We're going to try and make ourselves like a 3x3 maybe or like a 3x4. I don't know. We'll kind of see how this whole thing plans out, but I do want to make an awesome house. We've got 19 wood right now, and it said that each one took 8. So we've got to get a bunch more wood before we're going to be able to do this. Like maybe... God. Well, the point that I suppose I should just say right now is that we've got to gather a ton of wood. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather the wood all by my lonesome. And what I'll do is I'll break off the episode right here so you guys don't have to suffer through me gathering like 700 wood. And then I'll see you in the next episode. The name of the game is Beasts of Prey. It's an early access on Steam right now for like $32. It's kind of expensive at the moment. So if you really get irritated by early access games not having a lot of content or not having enough to keep you entertained, this would not be the time to jump into this game right now. This would be the time to wait and watch and see if the game like goes viral and gets really popular. And if the developers are put in a position where they're going to be forced to develop the game. Because if there's, there's things that I've noticed about Early Access and it's that after their game releases on Steam, developers do one of two things. They either follow through or they cut and run. And so I would wait it out right now and make sure the developers are not going to bail out on development. That's just me being paranoid. I got this because I cover video games for a living, so I figured it would be something to throw up on the channel, so either way I would provide all of you with a little bit of extra entertainment, so it's a win-win for me. But if you're a private citizen that is playing this game purely for your own entertainment, I would probably strongly recommend that you wait for a little while. Or at least be aware that things are going to be broken, things are not going to work, and that it's probably going to drive you crazy. Like my iron axe, which I crafted and then was not able to use in any respect. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for an episode of Beasts of Prey. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.